Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I listen to my com uh, the comments from my colleague uh, say inflammatory language leads to inflammatory actions. And I couldn't agree more, which is why it was absolutely abhorrent that we had members of Congress promulgating a disgusting lie that Israel bombed a hospital in Gaza and to today have not apologized nor clarified those comments. And in fact, yesterday stood at a rally in support of Hamas terrorists promulgating the same disgusting lie. That type of conduct and language is not only unbecoming and unfit for public office, that member has no business serving in Congress. Hamas is a terrorist organization, period. The idea that Israel is an oppressor is a joke. The only oppressor of the Palestinian people is Hamas and the PA. Iran is the greatest state sponsor of terrorism in the world. They have backed and funded Hamas and Hezbollah and other terrorist organizations for the express purpose of wiping Israel off the face of the earth. They do not believe they have a right to exist. They do not believe the Jewish people have a right to practice their faith. And we have members of Congress that don't even have the courage or clarity to denounce it. They're more outraged about a false attack on a hospital in Gaza blaming the Israelis when, in fact, it was a terrorist organization that did it. So yes, inflammatory language leads to inflammatory actions. And we should be able to speak with moral clarity. There is no moral equivalency here. Israel is the victim. Hamas is the terrorist organization that perpetrated the greatest slaughter of Jews since the Holocaust. Women, children, babies, burned, beheaded, murdered, Holocaust survivors. It is very clear that Iran is behind this, that Iran has no business having nuclear weapons, and that the policy decisions of this administration have been foolish at best. Unfreezing $6 billion in sanctioned funds was moronic. I said it in August. I said it on September 11th, when this administration notified Congress officially. Think about that. September 11th, the greatest terrorist attack in our nation's history, they notified Congress officially that they were unfreezing $6 billion in sanctioned funds to give to the greatest state sponsor of terrorism. Are you out of your minds? I talked about this three weeks ago when we held a hearing on the Taylor Force Act and the administration's failure to enforce it, giving funds to the PA, who continue to today to use pay-to-slay policies, and in fact are talking about giving $2.8 million to the Hamas terrorists that killed Jews and nearly 30 Americans. So yes, inflammatory language leads to inflammatory actions. You are 100% correct. And really stupid policy leads to people getting killed. I yield back.